in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use GPT-4 for free. Free 99, that is. I'm going to show you that there's actually no such thing as free GPT-4 access. I'll show you the best way to use GPT-4 for free, but there's a catch. The only way to use GPT-4 for free right now is by using the platforms that support it. But because those platforms are using OpenAI's GPT-4 API, they also have to pay for it to bring you free access to GPT-4. Now, you can use Hugging Face, which is absolutely free access to GPT-4, but I found the platform to be unstable, and a lot of the time it just stops working. If you guys figured this out and you have a link that actually works, please drop it in the comments and I'm going to pin it to this video so that more people can learn how to use GPT-4 for free. The problem is OpenAI hasn't even given access to GPT-4 API to all of the developers, and they gradually unroll GPT-4 API to some of the developers. And when they implement it, it's free for a while, but then the platform itself has to pay for it. So they will usually add some kind of a fee, like $5 or something like that. Now, how do we as regular users use GPT-4 for free right now? After doing some research, I found that ghosttogether.com, like most others, are still using GPT-3.5, but in my opinion, they have the best user experience they're trying to provide good GPT service, and as soon as they get off the OpenAI GPT-4 waitlist, they will be offering GPT-4 for free. So it's worth signing up right now and just waiting a couple of weeks or so. One unique thing about Ghost Together is that it's a social GPT experience, so you can see other people's prompts. Now, somebody's asking this prompt is trending with 5,000 views right now. So they have thousands of users posting these prompts. Now to make GPT answer your message, all you have to do is click on this robot button. Now at the bottom, they have this option to switch to GPT-4, but they're still on the waiting list and it's coming soon. But when it's released, it's gonna be 100% free. So that's why it might worth getting an account and just waiting for it. So to ask GPT a question, just type your message here and press on this rocket button to launch your message. Then all you have to do is just wait for the alert to show up here, which is going to show up as a blue dot. Once you see that, just click on that button and here you'll have your answer. So it works a lot like Twitter, except GPT will answer your questions. And like I said earlier, GPT-4 access is coming soon to this platform. I had an account for a while on this platform and, and I noticed that in some of the updates, it seems like the developers were trying to make the right choices. There's no ads and they have flaws they're always working on, but I really liked how easy it was to use. Plus there's something about the community and the fact that thousands of users are using this. They have source code highlighting for Python and JavaScript. I haven't seen any glitches or platform stopping working for any reason. So I think it might be a good idea to just register an account and wait for GPT-4 access for free. There's no way to predict how soon they're going to have GPT-4 for free, but it could happen in a week from now, in two weeks, maybe in a month. And I'm waiting for free GPT-4 to come to this platform.